Ms. Lagrange had challenged her students to master the skill of using a pan balance. If she succeeded, Amelia would earn herself a brand new pair of shoes. She got up early to practice her pan balance measuring skills without waking up her sister. Her puppy couldn't be so easily fooled. It heard its best friend Amelia and came running into the bedroom. When it saw Amelia on the ground, it assumed that Amelia wanted to play. Sheesh. Amelia whispered, but this only encouraged her puppy to play even more. It barked and wagged its tail. I don't want to play. Go back to bed. It grabbed a gram cube and ran off. Give it back. She ran after it into the family room. To her shock, her father was watching TV on the sofa. Leah, what are you doing up? What do you got there? He held up the grand cube. Where did you get it? Amelia decided to tell the truth. <sighs> Dad, here it goes. I am currently attending a school called Cosmic and Academy. I'm the only human that goes there. All the others are aliens. And I get there by climbing through my bedroom window. Go straight to bed. You're obviously very tired. You see, I knew this virtual learning was going to break my baby. Go on to bed now. She hung her head and went back to her bed. That's a cool dream. She heard her father say. I would love that, myself. Amelia shook her head and walked back to her bed. My father is such a dork. She went back to her bed but couldn't sleep. The next morning, she climbed through her window into Cosmic on Academy. She was the first one there that morning. Ms. Lagrange had set up four tables, one for each student. Dearie, this will be another great day of measurement. You have your balance. Excellent. Go ahead and grab a table. For starters, practice on the pan balance. The rest of the class soon trickled in one at a time. The class bell rang and the competition started. Take your objects and measure them now. Ms. Lagrange called. And she played music, while the students took to their objects and placed them on one side of the balance. Amelia was focused. More focused than she had ever been in her life. The gram cubes went into the other side until at last both sides of the balance were level. You're almost there already, scholars. Looking like scientists in the making. Amelia now had to count the gram cubes that she had placed into the balance. That would give her the mass of the shoe. She devised a strategy. She decided to classify the cubes by size and color. Soon enough they were separated into four piles. She took out her notebook and wrote down 10 1 gram cubes, 3 5 gram cubes, 4 10 gram cubes, and 1 100 gram cube. She was sweating by this time, concentrating so hard on her counting. If she was off by even one gram, Ms. Lagrange would not accept it. Ten, one gram cubes is ten grams. Three five gram cubes is... She did that math on the paper. Five plus five is ten. Ten plus five is fifteen grams. Then add the ten and fifteen together. I know that ten plus ten is twenty. That leaves another five. Twenty plus five is twenty-five grams. Only two piles left to go. Gil had put his head down when he gave Ms. Lagrange the wrong answer. I'm sorry, Jill. That is incorrect. All the others watched in horror as Ms. Lagrange picked up the red muscle shake and brought it to her desk. Ms. Lagrange, I'm finished. Ms. Lagrange approached looking very serious. Olza was visibly sweating as he looked up at her. What is the mass of your heat suit, then? My heat suit is 30 grams. Correct, Olza. You've earned your prize. Good job. Also. Ms. Lagrange. Yes, dearie. I would like to help Gil earn his mystery object. That's what friends are for. Yes, ma'am. Gil grabbed Olza and gave him a big bear hug. My little blue friend. All right, all right, you're breaking my back. Let's get to work. The four students continued their measurements and calculations until they had all finished. Amelia was the final student to finish. She had gone over her calculations three or four times already, because she was not willing to make a mistake. I'm ready. She said, shaking with anxiety. What is the mass of your shoe? The mass of my shoe is 165 grams, Ms. Lagrange. Exactly right. Can you tell us how you got the answer? Four sets of 10 is 40, 
40 plus 20 is 60, and plus 5 is 65 then add that to 100, 165 grams. Good job. Well done all. Your task now is to master the tool before you. You will work with your partner to read, measure the object at your station, and then teach the class about your tool. Any questions, refer to the instructions at your station. She pressed a button and a timer started. Amelia and Elsa worked together learning about the thermometer, while Gil and Mika learned about using a beaker, it wasn't easy. Amelia and Elsa both had to wear gloves, goggles, and a lab apron because they were heating water on a hot plate. Ms. Lagrange watched them carefully as they measured boiling water, ice cold water, and room temperature water. They heard a loud shatter. Mika had accidentally tipped the glass beaker onto the floor, where it had shattered, and pieces of glass shot in all directions. Mika looked terrified. Not to worry, kidders. Don't move. A little help, if you don't mind. She called to the class robot. It rushed across the floor to scoop up and suck up all the pieces of glass. Time is up my budding scientists. Who would like to go first? We will, Ms. Lagrange. Fire away, then. This tool is the thermometer. It measures the temperature of things. Temperature is how much heat the object has. The units of measurement for temperature is degrees Celsius. This tool helps us when we are doing experiments in the science lab. Alza, over to you. Thanks, Amelia. Using a thermometer is easy. Stick the end with a metal tip down into the thing you are trying to measure. There are lines that go up the thermometer. In the glass center, there is a red liquid that rises as the temperature increases and falls as the temperature decreases. Wherever the red line stops, is what tells you the final temperature measurement. Back to you Amelia. Excellent report. Now let's look at the ice cold water. The thermometer reads 0 degrees Celsius. As you can see it has fallen to this line. When we put the thermometer in room temperature water, the red liquid rises because the temperature is higher. Wait until the red liquid stops moving and then see what line it reaches. As you can see the temperature of the water is 20 degrees Celsius. Ms. Lagrange helped us measure the temperature of the boiling water. The temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. That concludes our presentation. Well done. I'll introduce this tool, a beaker. It measures volume. Volume is how much space an object takes. The units of measurement for volume are milliliters and liters. All you must do is pour the liquid into the beaker and see what line the liquid reaches. Jill over to you to demonstrate. Thank you Mika, as always you are truly brilliant. This is lemon juice squeezed from a dozen lemons. Let's see how much space this juice takes by using this beaker. As you can see it rises to the line that says 250 milliliters. Back to you Mika. Amazing! I'm so proud of you all. You had work to do tonight to prepare for the competition tomorrow. Can you believe it is already here? Sleep well tonight. Do not eat breakfast tomorrow. Come to school hungry. I'll have a surprise waiting for you. I can't wait. I love to eat.